Hello everyone, Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. <coughs> I am doing another part of the um, the cardigan that uh, I'm doing a tutorial for on my other channel. And I have decided to try and match match them up because I have done the back and one of the sides and this is the second side. And I've still got quite a lot of wool. There seemed to be more on this ball than I had on the other ball. Maybe it just seems that way, but um, I'm taking a chance anyway. And I've done the first side, and that's all I had to take off to get the um, the wool to, to match. I'll show you the other side in um, a minute. And I had to do that when I did the other cardigan with the same wool. This is the, um, the, King, Cole, the King Cole Splash. This is the um, the Battenberg, this one, the Battenberg colour. But what I had left over was enough to do the band on the front of the um, the cardigan, but I think there's a bit less there. So I'll probably um, mix that in some way when I, um, I do my use of sleeves or something like that. But anyway, I'm <clears throat> knitting away on this, this one. Like I'm saying, I've done the... Um, I'll show what I've done on the... That's the back. <coughs> That's one of the fronts. That's the right front. And as you can see, the um, little bit down there, I managed to match the, um, the two front bits up. So I think it looks better actually when you match the um these colours. I know they're supposed to just be knit as you go, but I think they look much better when you match, even if you just match the fronts up. So that's what I'm doing. But I've done with doing the tutorial, I've done the bit of the video for the back and explained from the um the pattern because I write everything down. I have a ledger here and I write all the um everything i've got like four sizes i'm doing 16 to 24 on this three by one mock rib it's a v-neck cardigan i've got i'm putting the instructions for the v-neck but i'll probably write the instructions for the button up as well but i haven't got that written down because i haven't done a button up in this one but i have done an 18 inch in it and this is a 16 inch and what i do when i do the tutorials i do the back and then when you start the sides, you always start with the left side first because that's the side where you decrease, where you um, cast off the stitches on the right side. So I always do the, um, when I'm doing a tutorial, I always do the right side first without doing it on the, um, the tutorial and do all the shaping and everything to work out the shaping and exactly get the shaping right. And then I just copy that for the... Um, the left front when I do the left front in the tutorial and then just you know you just tell everybody to decrease to reverse the, um, the shaping on the, the other side on the right side which I've already done and usually when I do it as well um, after I've done the I've started doing the little bit video for this I've shown what I've done for um, for this and when I finish with that I'll knit the sleeve first and then I'll do the tutorial for the second sleeve it works out easier that way um, for me and then there's only the v-neck to do after that to show um, about how we do the stitches. So that's how I work that one out. I'll put that down in a minute and show you what else I've been doing. I'll put that down there. And that's if we're in the morning, it's um, just after 11 now. Um, I'll be doing this later on, but this is how far I've got with um, Emma's bag. That's the bag, I've sorted the, that's going to be the base, that bit at the bottom, that'll be like that and this, that'll be stitched to the, half of it'll be stitched there and when I do the, the other part, this part here, I'll bring the stitches out, so they'll be stitched on the bottom like that, and you can see the, where the pieces go there and that's the base across the, the bottom of the bag <laughs> and the top. It's a bit awkward but you'll see it when it's finished. 
So that's how far I've got with that. I'm actually going this way. Actually, I'm crocheting this way. And then when I get to the um, the top, I'll be stitching all the... I'll probably be doing the, um, a crochet stitch on the outside. That'll actually be side that you see. To stitch all these pieces up the sides and these pieces on the, the bottom. But I'll sort that out later and show you that. I'll be doing that later on today. This afternoon. Put all this in together to keep all this wool. I think I'll be coming to get another white ball. Probably another grey ball as well before I finish this. I'll put my crochet hook through <laughs> through the holes and keep it all together. I can get it through the holes. There's so many. It's quite thick actually. I think I could have done it with two strands really when I think about it but <coughs> it's started now and my own I got just a little bit done last night um I think I got just from that those little holes there up to where it is on the um the needles there because that was was after 10 when I came in from bingo last night I was at the bingo last night and we never we never won but you can't expect to win every time you know that's just the way it goes but it was so much better coming back no diversions last night i left there at about quarter to ten and i was home by quarter past ten so it only took me half an hour instead of about nearly an hour when i have to go through all these diversions which really annoys me but anyway, um, it was a quite a, um, a good night. I don't go just to win. I'm not really bothered whether we, we win or not. But, um, you know, it's the look if you do. But we have a little bit of conversation as well. And they go on about um, television. You know, we'll have intervals during some of the, uh, the games. And um, Oh, did you say such and such on Coronation Street? Oh, such and such on this. And I'm sitting, no. I don't watch soaps. <laughs> Why? Because I don't like soaps. I'd rather watch a good science fiction, a good drama, good thriller, good action. <laughs> Anything like that but soaps. I do not like soaps. And just them, them laughing, you know, they think there's something wrong with me because I don't watch soaps. I'm going to have a drink of my tea as well, you know, it gets cold. Which I do every time I do these videos, I forget about that cup of tea. And it made me think about when I was quite young, when I was first married. When I was at home, before I was married, when I was at home, you know, in those days, I got married in 1967, so that's 50, well over 55, about 55 years ago, I think, isn't it? 56 years ago. <laughs> I'm trying to work it out in my head. But that was when I got married, 1967. But before that, when I was single and still at home, you know, in those days, we, kids didn't have televisions in their bedrooms. There was one television in your living room and in those days most fires were coal fire so everybody sat around the coal fire watching the television the one television in the living room well my mother had control of that television we could only watch what she wanted on the um the television that was when there was me my mom and dad and my three my two sisters there was three of us and we all you know us kids usually sitting on the floor and then um, on the chairs and that and the uh, the house and like like i'm seeing no televisions in our bedrooms and it was too cold in the bedrooms anyway because we didn't have central heating it didn't have radiators in the bedrooms or anything like that so we were quite happy to sit in the living room in front of the fire but after i got married when we were when we were when i was single and at home um after my oldest sister eleanor when she got married there was only me and my youngest sister, Linda, and Linda was never at home. She was always at her boyfriend's and I was the only one that was ever sitting at home uh, with my mom and dad. Well, I liked the same sort of things my dad liked. 
he liked westerns and like say I said science fiction and all that and it was always two against one and we used to make our mother put on what we wanted to watch me and my dad where there was a good western on she had to put it on because she was out voted <laughs> and after I got married never thought nothing of it they but I mean, we had the soaps on because that's what my mother had on. I, I wasn't interested in them, but we had no other choice but to watch them. And anyway, after I got married and had my own, we had our own television, me and my husband were the same. He didn't like soaps either, and he liked the same sort of things I liked, all the science fiction and action and all that sort of thing. So we watched all those sort of things, and even the TV series, if they were were a good, you know, even a soap type, or if it was like science fiction or something like that, we'd watch it. But we used to go and visit my mother, you know, once a week we used to be up because I lived quite a distance um, from my mother at the time. We used to go up once a week and we were sitting there in the conversation, we used to get on about the television, the soaps and that. Oh, did you see such and such on um, Coronation Street or something like that? And No. Why not? Is there something wrong with your television? Is my mother. No, there's nothing wrong with my television. I don't like soaps. She said, well, you watched them when you were here, when you were at home. I says, ma'am, we had no other choice. I says, that's all you would let us watch. I says, we had no choice whatsoever. My dad as well. And my dad was sitting there and, you know what, Sheila? The day you got married and left home was the worst day of my life. What do you mean, the worst day of your life? He says, since you left home, he says, I have never been able to watch anything on the television. He says, when you were at home, me and you, you said, out for your mum. He says, you had to watch <laughs> what we wanted. There was a good western, so I was telling my mother off, you know, and I'm saying, ma'am, it's share, you know, you've got to let me dad watch some things that he wants to watch. It can't be everything you want all the time. I says, it's two of you in this house, you know. <laughs> I think after that, I think she did sort of start letting him watch um, things. But like I'm saying, I used to go up every week. And then when we started getting these VCR things, um, we used to get um, films from the, you know, these places that used to rent them out for uh, for a week and that. When I used to go up my mother's, there used to be a place. I always used to take my mother shopping. There was uh, um, the three of us, the three sisters, we all went up and... I think my younger sister Linda, her husband Peter always used to come up as well. And he was the only one. My husband sometimes at first, if he wanted the car, just used to drop me off and go back to do whatever he was doing. But an odd time he'd come with us. But Peter was always there every week and he always liked to watch the um football and things on the um the TV on a um a Saturday. Well I knew my dad wasn't interested in all this like but he just used to put up with it for um for Peter but when we used to get these VCRs, there was a place up where my mother lived, uh, where we used to go shopping, where you could rent videos. And I used to get um, one or two videos while while I was up there. When I used to come home, I used to put this video on the television for my dad. It was a good western or something. And I used to watch Peter squirming around in the, um, the seat because he was missing the football. But I used to do it on purpose. So, you know, <laughs> my dad used to say to me, when we're on our way home, he says, thanks for that, Sheila. He said, I know you're a villain, but... <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed watching something besides football. That's just memory about about television, you know, what, what people like to watch. And all my friends, everybody, all watch the soaps and they think I'm an idiot because I don't. I'm not interested in the soaps. So that's just a little bit. I'm going to get on with my knitting, get a bit more of this done, then I can do a bit more. When I get up to the armholes, I'm going to do a bit more of the tutorial and show how to do the shaping and that. And then uh, I'll be on to the sleeves and it won't take long. and It'll be all in one tutorial. I'm doing the whole thing in one video because I think people prefer that. Because I've noticed when I put, sometimes um, some things do take longer and I have to put them up in more than one, like part one or part two and that. And I've noticed there's a lot go for the first part, but not so many for the other parts. <laughs> like they kind of be bothered like to watch that they like to watch them all in one, I think. So I'm going to try and do it all in one video. So anyway, give a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you all another day. So bye for now.